underglazes are a way to add color to pottery. So then the word underglaze means it goes underneath glaze. So let me show you about that. Now with your clay bowls, so if you chose the 3D option, the clay is white and you have inside some sort of identifying monogram or um, something that you carved inside so you can identify your bowl and it looks artistic. Now you can just leave these white and they're very attractive and they're very unified by the use of a single color and by the repetition usually of a pattern of some sort. But some people really want to add color and we now have an opportunity to do that. So traditionally these have been white bowls and thanks to some PTO fundraising and a donation of some money to the art department we were able to buy underglazes. So an underglaze is a tinted clay that's been thinned to the consistency of paint. So it's very much like painting on clay. The reason you would use these rather than regular paint is when you want it to be functional. So we want these a bowl to be able to be used and to be able to eat out of them. And if we use regular paint like we will on our creatures, then this is something that if you repeatedly got this wet or um, did, you know you just can't we're not planning on eating off the creatures so we're not worried this is paint but if this paint got repeatedly wet it would eventually come off or it rubs off a little bit with your fingers too you'll find but it's fine for something like this which is sculptural non-functional and we're not worried about it but something that we're planning on using we need a color a paint that won't come off so if you decide you don't want to leave your bowl white you will have a choice of three colors. So you'll have a choice of a green, I'm not sure which color green I'm going to have, but a green, a black, and also, if you look at this color, this reddish brown, this is called terracotta. And you will have a choice of that too. So you have a choice of green, black, and terracotta, which is a reddish brown and you could use one, you could use two, there's one with just green, or you could use all three. And we're not going to completely paint our bowls. They're mostly going to remain a white bowl. But you can use smaller brushes and add details to them. And hopefully you plan those out in your sketchbook so that you're thought through what colors you're going to use and what those details will be. Now these are expensive, so no, I don't want you to paint the whole inside of your bowl green or the whole outside black. I'm going to show you uh, where you can put this, how we're going to put glaze over it, and then you are going to be able to use these. So inside your bowl, now I carved three B's originally, so that was my identifying mark on here. But I went back in with a small brush and with black and I accented the B's. I painted two more because I thought it needed more, kind of accented right here and I did a little bit with this B that's sitting on the edge. Now, it would have been really cool if I would have had yellow under glaze, but I don't, so I didn't use that, and I just went with black and white I thought would look the best. Here, and I didn't do anything on the outside. I left the outside white. The outside isn't even glazed. The inside is under glazed, and then I put glaze on it, and then it was fired. Okay, this one, I used green only. I went over the initials. These are my son's initials, but I went over his initials. I put some green in here to decorate it. And then I put green on the outside. I don't know if you can tell in the video, the inside is glazed, so it's kind of shiny. The outside is not. So even though this is called underglaze, you could put it on the outside in places 
and leave it a matte finish, a non-shiny finish, and that will work. It still won't come off. It's just not quite. I mean, if I took my fingernail, I could probably really scrape that off. So we need to put a glaze on the inside, but if you want to put the underglaze on the outside in a decorative way without glaze, that's fine. Then you get this nice contrast between matte and shiny. So that's another option. This, I used green and black. I had carved these fish in here, so then I painted them. I painted my little fish that's leaping out of the bowl. And then I went around on the outside and I painted the fish. Now, I also glazed the outside with the glaze. We have to glaze the inside. That makes it functional. We have to glaze the upper edge. If you glaze the outside, you have to stop within a half an inch of the bottom and the bottom. No glaze on the bottom, no glaze here. Now, you can put under glaze the color on the bottom, but you're not going to be able to glaze over it. So, I just decided, since I know I can't put glaze here, glaze has ground glass, and if there's glaze here, it's going to stick to the kiln shelf and it will wreck your bowl. So, I knew I had to quit about here, so I decided I would just glaze the curly cues and the fish and that's all I did which means I have a natural stopping point and that meant I could put under glaze here and still put glaze over it which really stabilizes it and makes it so that it's totally dishwasher safe and can be used for years without a problem. There would be a good chance with this that if I use this for years it, as anything to eat out of, eventually this is probably kind of wear off the outside, although the inside will be fine and stable, which is the part we're eating off of. And there's nothing in the underglaze or glaze that would ever harm you. It's just, this makes it much more stable. So, now none of these have the reddish brown, the terracotta on them, but that is another option for color. And again, when you're using it, when you're using the underglaze, so let's say I'm going to underglaze a little bit on the outside. Have your glazes ready. Have water to clean your brushes. And then you just use them like you would use paint. And you can use a little water to thin them and move them around. So let's say I was going to outline every other triangle with green. And then maybe in the middle I can put some black. So I'm going to go around here and create an outline. So I'm just painting like I would I'm painting on clay, with colored clay. So there's an outline. And then I could come inside to that with black, or I could neaten it up and make it uh, leave it white on the inside. Or I could paint little dots on the inside. I could do every other one like that. I could do every one like that. I would have planned this out in my sketchbook, or at least thought, thought it through in some way, hopefully planned it out. You know, do I want to do that to every one or every other one, or maybe these will be outlined in black. Now, um, again, be minimal with the use of underglaze, because it's expensive. So, I mean, I think it would be okay to paint the whole, every other one green. But again, I'm not going to paint the whole parts of my bowl green or terracotta or black because I don't want to use up a lot of this. So maybe in that case I would do every other one and leave the other one white. That might be kind of nice. So leave a lot of your bowl white. The white is really beautiful, but you can paint parts of it with the underglaze. And then when you switch colors, you definitely need to 
clean your brush. Do not mix the green and the terracotta and the black together. And there are, if you like this, there are all sorts of different colors of underglaze. You can buy them in small amounts. So if you do any clay work outside of class at home for, and you want to work with underglazes, if you take a class, they may have a bunch of other colors. And they're really fun. So basically, underglaze is colored glaze. And then when I'm all done with this, and of course I clean my brush, I would put the lid back on here and be careful with that. Then I'm going to apply glaze in two neat layers. But I need to wait until this is dry. So it'll dry in about five minutes. And then you can watch the video on how to glaze. In that video I tell you you need to put two complete coats on the inside. So inside of this. And you need to do that to make it functional. Then you're welcome to put some on the outside. And you could um, put it on the upper edge. You could put it uh, all the way down until a half an inch from the bottom and the bottom. You might want to find a natural stopping point. You're welcome to selectively glaze the outside, which would mean like here I glaze this and I glaze this, but I didn't glaze the rest. So you might just glaze parts of the outside, but keep the glaze off the bottom and a half inch from the bottom. So, and if you've chosen to put underglaze on the bottom or a half inch from the bottom, do not glaze over that. So there you go, and now you should watch the video on how to glaze, and then you'll be all set to underglaze and glaze your clay.